Hi shipmates, welcome aboard Jet Set Journeys. You know Azura folks where the fun flows faster than a Newcastle brown ale tap. Sun, sea, scran and laughter. Aye, there she blows. The Atlantic unfurls like a giant Yorkshire pudding under a cloud of marshmallows. Peaceful way, eh? but don't be fooled, there's a right knees up waiting around the bend. Sun seekers unite, escape the poolside pandemonium. This peaceful haven near the spa boasts comfy lounges, serene swims and jacuzzi chats with, ahem, interesting company. Aye, these corridors could stretch from Land's End to John O'Groats. Feel like you could walk all the way to Tenerife and back on this deck, eh? Top tip, mateys. Some floors span the whole ship, perfect for escaping the crowds. Just don't get lost, this layout's trickier than a Yorkshire Terrier in a ball pit. Even took us the whole cruise to find the blooming breakfast buffet. But fear not, landlubbers. We'll navigate these beige beauties and show you all the hidden gems, from secret sunspots to swanky bars. So buckle up and remember, if you see a bewildered soul wandering around, point them in the right direction, eh? Aye, after conquering these corridors, Tenerife's fading fast in the rearview mirror. Sunsets like this are a dime a dozen in the Canaries. And speaking of dimes, did you know the Azura can hold over 3,000 passengers? More people than a Morris Dancing Championship. But fear not, there's enough elbow room for everyone, and plenty of ways to fill it too. Sunsets and cocktails done, now the posh grub. But first, a pit stop at Brodie's, the Azura's very own English pub. See these barkeeps shaking up concoctions like they're conducting a symphony? Aye, they know their stuff. We're waiting for our table on formal night, fancy clobber and all. Don't forget, these little beastie buzzing in our pocket will let us know when it's showtime. Time for a pre-dinner tipple and a bit of pub chat, eh? Cheers to that. Sunshine, sea breeze and scoops bigger than our head. What more could you ask for? This island knows its ice cream, just like the Azura knows its cocktails. And speaking of knowing its stuff, Funchal's streets are bustling with charm. See those iconic yellow buses chugging by? They're like the taxis of Madeira, and just as much part of the scenery as palm trees lining the streets. Ahoy there, back on the Azura, soaking up the Funchal's charm. Those clouds might be whispering secrets, but one thing's for sure, this city's steeped in history. Older than your nan's knitting needles, with cobbled streets that could tell tales of pirates and explorers. Even Cristiano Ronaldo calls it home, the footy legend himself. Ready to swap sun lounges for sweat sessions? Welcome to the Azura's swanky gym. See those deck chairs in disguise? They're actually exercise bikes with a million dollar ocean view. Fancy a jog with a panorama? You've got it. Over there we've got free weights for sculpting those muscles and a whole fitness area for moving and grooving in group classes. Now some gyms try to flog you some fancy snake oil for a king's ransom. We went to a seminar on board all about toxins and magic pills for £360 a pop. Save your pennies mateys, the best detox is fresh air and exercise and this gym's got it all, free for all passengers, adults only mind you. Aye, there she blows, the Azura's leaving a trail fit for a mermaid queen. But fear not, landlubbers, this ain't the end of the adventure. The next stop is La Palma, the Isla Bonita, the island of beauty, they call it. Volcanic wonders, lush rainforests and stargazing so good it will make you feel like you're walking on the moon. See those clouds scurrying away like shy bairns? They know a good show when they see one, and this fiery farewell from the sun is a corker. So breathe in the salty air, feel the ocean breeze, kiss your face and get ready for another Canarian island to blow your socks off. I La Palma awaits and trust me, it's a beauty. The adults only haven, sun-kissed loungers, gentle sea breeze and not a peep from little terrors. Pure bliss. This is where I topped up my tan and soaked in the peace and quiet. Now let's take to the skies for a bird's eye view of paradise. See those happy souls basking in the sunshine? Balconies are just like little sun traps, perfect for catching rays and watching the world sail by. And speaking of sailing, just look at that endless blue horizon. This is the Canaries at its finest. Endless sunshine, crystal clear waters and a sky so blue it will make your eyeballs sing. 
But enough sunbathing, the night is young and the Azure has got entertainment fit for a king or queen in store. Fiddles are fiddling and laughter are flying. Aye, these lads know how to put a twist on tradition. Not your nan's folk music, this is toe-tapping, chuckle-inducing entertainment. Fancy some smooth tunes with your cocktails? The piano bar atop the Azura is the place to be. This maestro tickles the ivories like nobody's business, creating a laid-back atmosphere fit for sipping on something fancy. Now here's a tip for the savvy sailor. The drinks package might not be your best mate, unless you're a true thirst quencher. We opted to pay as we go. Welcome to La Palma, La Isla Bonita. We ditched the pricey excursions and set sail on our own adventure through these vibrant streets. Look at these pops of colour, blues so bright they'll make your sunglasses jealous, and terracotta tones that whisper of history. This town's a feast for the eyes and your wallet because exploring on foot is kind to your budget. And speaking of feasts, feast your eyes on this. This volcanic black sand beach is like something out of a pirate movie, with the Azura, our trusty ship, anchored offshore. Feeling adventurous? Take a dip in the crystal clear waters. Build a sandcastle fit for a king, or just soak up the sun and the laid back vibes. Sun kissed cheeks, bags full of souvenirs and smiles wider than the Atlantic. It's time to set sail from La Palma. Ah, the haven of peace returns back in the adults only haven, soaking up the last rays of Canarian sunshine. Crystal clear water, comfy loungers, and not a splash from the little ones in sight. Pure bliss, eh? This is where I topped up my tan and cooled off after exploring La Palma's volcanic wonders. And speaking of cooling off, who fancies a dip? This pool's like a hidden oasis, perfect for escaping the crowds and catching some rays. Ahoy there, early birds! Ever wanted the Azura all to yourself? Well, grab your camera because that's exactly what I found this morning. Look at all those empty sunbeds, a far cry from the usual hustle and bustle. Overcast skies may not be everyone's cup of tea, but for me it meant a peaceful stroll and photo ops galore. Fancy a dip without the crowds? Now's your chance. This pool's usually a hive of activity, but today it's like a private oasis. Fuerteventura's got a different vibe than La Palma, with less cobbled charm, more sunshine and, well, let's just say practicality. But hey, don't underestimate it. Ariana, bless her cotton socks, miss breakfast. The sit-down breakfast doesn't wait forever. So a local coffee and pastry hit the spot. Back on the Azura, I was exploring the top deck when I stumbled upon this gem, the basketball court. Feeling sporty, I grabbed a ball from one of the friendly crew, thanks matey, and I put my skills to the test. Who knew I still had a few hoops in me? But basketball's not the only game on board. Look at these landlubbers having a laugh with deck quoits. It's like quoits with a nautical twist, perfect for some friendly competition. So whether you're a basketball baller, a deck game champion, or a sunbathing parent, the Azura's got something for everyone. Time to haul anchor and set sail once more. Look at those happy faces, Fuerteventura memories made and smiles all round. Aye landlubbers, feel that sunshine kiss your skin, sun soaked decks sparkling ocean and not a cloud in the sky. Fuerteventura left us with a tan and a smile. Ahoy there shopaholics and sightseers, let's take a stroll through the Azura's bustling belly. First stop, the swanky glass house. This ain't your nan's greenhouse mateys, it's a haven for wine connoisseurs with over 400 bottles from all corners of the globe. Feeling fancy? Sip on a glass while admiring the ocean view. It's the perfect aperitif before dinner. But enough vino, let's head to the heart of the ship, the atrium. 
See that magnificent chandelier shimmering like a captured rainbow? It's a beauty, just like the empty dance floor area down below. Fancy cutting a rug later? We might just have to show those dance floors what we're made of. Speaking of cutting, let's take the stairs down. The shops might be closed while we're in port, but they'll be bursting with treasures come sail away time. See those friendly faces at the reception? They're the wizards behind the magic, making sure our journey runs as smooth as butter. Now feeling lucky, let's peek into the casino. Feeling like a high roller? These shiny machines might just make your pockets sing. But remember, gamble responsibly mates, we don't want any walk the plank situations, eh? Walking on, we're in the corridor of memories. And finally, our grand staircase beckons. Feeling fancy, take the stairs for a bit of leg work or be whisked away by the lift. The choice is yours. Aye, landlubbers, last night aboard the Azura. See these trusty companions? They're packing up memories and sunshine, ready for the adventure to continue, on land this time. One last stroll down these familiar halls, soaking it all in before we say farewell. But don't fret, mates, the Canary Islands may be ending, but the memories will last a lifetime. Laundry lads and lasses, need to freshen up your finery for formal night or banish beach sand from your swimsuit? The Azura's got you covered. Our self-service laundrette is free to use, just bring your own suds. Irons and boards are at the ready for that wrinkle-free look and dryers will have your clothes ship-shape in no time. As the sun dips below the horizon, painting the canaries in fiery hues, so too does our Azura adventure draw to a close. But what an adventure it's been. We've waltzed through Tenerife's volcanic landscapes, sunbathed on pristine beaches in Fuerteventura and explored the colourful charm of La Palma. From adults only havens to toe-tapping folks shows, delicious tapas to refreshing dips in the pool, the Azure has been our floating home filled with laughter, sunshine and memories that will last a lifetime. But enough reminiscing, let's get down to the nitty gritty. Did we answer your Canary Island calling? Did we convince you to swap the landlubber life for the salty breeze and endless blue horizons? If so, hit that thumbs up button like a pirate finding buried treasure. And speaking of treasure, don't forget to subscribe for sun-soaked adventures. We're setting sail for the sparkling shores of the Algarve in Portugal and the historic markets in Alanya in Turkey. Who knows, maybe you'll join us on a future voyage. But our adventure doesn't stop there. Dive into the comments below and share your Canary Island memories, your travel dreams, or even just a friendly hello. We love connecting with our fellow adventurers, so don't be shy, mates. So until next time, keep calm and cruise on. This has been your captain, signing off. Fair winds and following seas.